Welcome back, AVG News viewers and subscribers. Uh, this time again, I'm still, as we promised, on the Zimbabwe exemption permit applicants. Uh, the question that we've been getting, or one of the many questions that we keep on getting is, are we in contact with anybody who has applied for either a waiver or a permit and received a positive outcome? This is what I'm going to respond to. But before I go ahead, as is now the custom, may I request you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. Have we been in contact with somebody who has made an application for a permit or a waiver and received a positive outcome? Uh, like we said uh, a few months ago, or a few weeks ago rather, uh, we had not yet uh, come across anybody who applied for a, a visa or a permit, as most of you call it, and received a positive outcome. But this seems to, has, to have changed because last week there were a number of people that came back thanking us for giving them the advice that we've been giving, the directions that we've been giving, for answering their questions that they've been sending, and resultantly they have received the permits. I'm yet to receive, uh, to receive a, a message from somebody who applied for a waiver and got it. But you'll remember that, as I've always been saying, it takes between four weeks and seven weeks. Uh, rather, it can take between four and seven months, not weeks, for somebody who applied for a waiver to get it. So we're still waiting for those that applied long back to come back and say we have received our outcomes and this is the outcome that we've received then we can come back here and respond to you but in as far as permits are concerned there are a number of people some of them applied and got their outcomes within less than four weeks some within less than uh, a week some within less than two weeks there is a particular case of somebody who submitted on the 26th of august they submitted their application for a permit and because everything that they had been asked to produce had been produced and their company even wrote uh, supporting letters requesting the department to grant them that particular payment that they requested, it's a general work visa, this person caught it within less than a week and he sent us uh, a thank you message on Friday saying, thank you very much, I have received my permit. So this shows that it is possible. Do not listen to anybody else who tells you that you will not get the permit and therefore do not apply. Actually, the Department of Home Affairs, the minister himself, himself believes that those who have not yet applied, those who have not heeded the call for them to apply, are actually reluctant to do so, not because of lack of qualifications, but because they have been misled into believing that the court case is going to be won against the Department of Home Affairs. And the minister is adamant that no court case is going to be won. He will defend it to as far as he can get. The department will defend its position not to renew the Zimbabwe exemption permit to the highest court. So his belief is that if you haven't yet applied, you are actually listening to bad advice and what it means is that already his attitude towards you is a negative one. And he has not said this particular statement once. It's been twice or thrice during the past few weeks where the minister says Zimbabwe is reluctant to apply. So we would like to take this uh, opportunity to advise you to do the best you can, get the necessary documents, get your employer to assist you in putting together the necessary documents, in putting together uh, a proper motivation for you to then go ahead and apply, whether for a waiver or a temporary work visa, temporary residence visa, rather. It's called a temporary residence visa, which is a work permit, in other words. Uh, please 
go plead with your employer and make sure that they assist you in the best manner possible and then you can go ahead using the advice that we give you to apply for whatever permit that you believe will best suit you depending on your qualifications depending on your experience depending on the job that you are doing i hope again uh, this is very clear but if it's not very clear and you need advice please send us questions via the comment section underneath this video and we will do our best to respond to you to the best of our knowledge where we do not have the sufficient answer that you're looking for we are going to call through and involve experts in this so that we give you the advice that is not going to mislead you thank you very much do not forget to subscribe to this channel to like this video and share it have a wonderful day